The Pentagon has stated that 18 special purpose boats are heading to Ukraine. This is part of the most recent $450 million assistance being provided to Ukraine. Included in the list are two 35-foot small unit riverine craft, CERC, 10 34-foot Sea Arc Dauntless class patrol boats, and six 40-foot maritime combat patrol boats. These are largely to protect the riverways and to enable Ukraine to maintain its control of the riverways, a senior U.S. defense official told reporters Friday morning. They can also be used in close-in coastal areas. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American coastal and patrol boats can help Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that allows you to protect your privacy and identity online. It works on Mac OS, iOS, Windows, and Android devices with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries available. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that can protect your privacy by preventing access to your internet traffic and enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Unlike many others, NordVPN now has a new threat protection feature that prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Also, NordVPN has launched an ultimate security package that gives you access to their VPN, password manager, and encrypted file storage. With the code DEFENSE, you can get a huge discount at the checkout for the two-year plan. There are many inland waterways in Ukraine. Ukraine's current riverine force, called the Ukraine Navy Dnipro River Squadron, is mainly made up of converted fishing and utility vessels. So, Ukraine is in dire need of proper patrol boats that can help it to protect the waterways, especially since Russia is making slow but steady inroads. According to Alexander Stroyek, the mayor of Sieviero-Donetsk city, the Russian forces have fully occupied the strategic frontline city in eastern Ukraine after weeks of fighting and bombardment. The control of the waterway will be crucial going forward. The small unit riverine craft, CERC, is a rigid hull, armed and armored patrol boat used by the U.S. Marines and U.S. Navy to maintain control of rivers and inland waterways. They're similar in size and purpose to the much older patrol boat, river vessels used during the Vietnam War. According to the U.S. Navy, the primary mission of the CERC is to provide tactical mobility and a limited weapons platform for the ground combat element of the Marine Air Ground Task Force in littoral and riverine environments. The boat's secondary mission includes command and control, reconnaissance, logistic and resupply, medevac, counter-drug operations, humanitarian assistance, peacekeeping, and non-combatant evacuation operations. The boats are built by Raytheon, Naval, and Maritime Integrated Systems. Sea Arc Dauntless is manufactured by U.S. Watercraft and is an aluminum vessel. As per the company, it is the next generation of the popular and mission-proven Sea Arc Marine model. This fast patrol boat is designed for controlled handling in the rough waters of large harbors, coastal areas, and offshore. It has a deep V hull by Ray Hunt Design and is designed for a fast, smooth, stable ride. The boat is designed with three cabin options, standard pilot house, survey cabin, or crew cabin. Overhead cabin windows provide 180-degree overhead visibility and 360-degree horizontally. It's not exactly clear which 40-foot combat patrol boat is being shipped to Ukraine, but it's likely the Mark VI. The Mark VI is a class of patrol boat in service with the United States Navy, designed to patrol riverine and littoral waters. The first two Mark VI boats were delivered to Coastal Riverine Group 2 in September 2015. 
The Mark 6 is 84.8 feet or 25.8 meters long, significantly longer than previous classes of Navy patrol boats. It has a crew of 10 sailors and can carry 8 additional personnel. The aluminum-hulled Mark 6 is powered by two MTU 16V2000 M94 diesel engines connected to water jets that propel it faster than 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour with a maximum range of 690 miles or 1,100 kilometers. Standard armament consists of two remote-controlled Mark 38 Mod 2 25mm chain guns and six crude M2 50 caliber machine guns. Depending on mission needs, gun mounts can hold M240 machine guns, M134 miniguns, and Mark 19 grenade launchers. So it can be equipped with pretty strong firepower. Russia is using its reserve forces in a covert mobilization to replenish its ranks in eastern Ukraine, and there's no point in waiting for its offensive potential to simply fizzle out, the head of Ukraine's military intelligence agency said on Saturday. In an interview in Kyiv, Kirillyo Budinov told Reuters he believed Ukraine could only achieve a victory against Russia through military force. We shouldn't wait for a miracle that they will tire and stop wanting to fight and so on. We will win back our territory as a result of our counteroffensive, said Budinov, head of the Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Ukraine needs everything the West has to offer as it faces a relentless Russian offense. As clear from the offensive from Severodonetsk, Kremlin is not planning to stop the onslaught anytime soon and is ready to accept losses to achieve its aim. Severodonetsk, the prized Donbas region, has experienced several grinding weeks of fighting between Russia and Ukraine and has been bombed heavily. Before the war, it was home to 100,000 people. Technically speaking, Russia has been able to make some significant progress, albeit with huge losses. As they push more, Ukraine will need Western assets to fight back. The coastal and patrol boats are expected to play a critical role in this conflict in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.